Hello everyone, welcome to my clip for the subject of professional speaking and as you can see, here I have some foil star balloons they are cute and appealing, right? and just imagine you see a mass ascending of balloons into a bright blue sky background and what do you feel? maybe you can feel the sense of joy, relaxing and releasing something like stress or tension, right? And balloon releases are also used to uh, celebrate an event or milestone or commemorate memory or the loss of someone. However, this enjoyable action can actually kill numerous lives out there. So in this video, I will talk about the negative impacts as well as some solutions towards balloon releases to deliver the, the message that releasing balloons should be stopped because of its deadly harms to the wildlife, the marine animals, and the overall environment. Here are some reasons why releasing balloons is bad for the life. First of all, balloons cannot keep flying up, right? They will stay in the air for a while, then bust and fall down. And that's basically similar to littering trash on the ground or on the ocean surface. According to eCenter.org, even biodegradable or eco-friendly balloons can take uh, six months to four years to decompose and they can cause a lot of havoc before they do, before they decompose. And so as you can see, the balloons, they fly up, then they bust fall down and become ugly species of trash and then they contaminate the environment. Secondly, uh, some naturally curious animals like birds or, or dolphins they often mix take deflated balloons at the source of food like jellyfish and eat them this results in stomach and intestinal blockage then eventually starvation to death and thirdly the balloon uh, ribbons or the strings are another trap to animals especially birds and they often get entangled in the strings and this restricts them from movement and even causes curse, injuries or even choke and this becomes much more dangerous when the entanglement occurs near the power lines and when I saw other pictures, it cannot be more heartbroken and by the way, I want to share you a disastrous event of balloon releases and I found it on en.wikipedia.org and here you have the Balloon Fest 86 was a 1986 event in which the United Way of Cleveland in Ohio set a world record by releasing almost 1.5 half 1.5 million balloons the event was intended to be a harmless fundraising public city stunt but the balloons stripped back over the city then and then the lake area and land in the surrounding area and caused problems for traffic and a nearby airport the event also interfered with the united states coast guard search for two boaters who were later found drowned in consequence, the organizers and the city faced lawsuits seeking millions of dollars in damages and cost overruns put the event at the net loss. So now you can see how serious balloon releasing is, right? And here's some ways that you can slow down and finally stop this bad situation. First, if you already buy the balloons or your kids love playing with the balloons, let's use them but use in the more friendly way. We should fill the balloon with air instead of helium so that they cannot uh, fly freely and then we never let go of balloons outdoors 
then we use the natural rubber balloons instead of the foil ones like this one is foil this foil one is not good for the environment and then we use hand to tie the balloons instead of using strings but if you really need the strings for your decoration or something let's use the cotton strings instead of the, the plastic ones and we can also play games with the balloon like uh, pop the balloons or pass the balloons with the music which is also really uh, funny and relaxing, right? However, do you know that the increase in the demand of rubber balloons has caused deforestation? I mean, people cut up forests to plant the rubber trees and this also brings about the decline in the wildlife's uh, natural habitat so please be aware of this and take a look at these alternative ways of celebration we can use we can blow the bubbles which is mesmerizing lively and provides the similar feeling of blowing or releasing something right and we can also plan a tree together or students for example students and teachers in the school together plan a tree which both uh, benefits the planet and also raises a meaningful story of the event and also a um, yeah a more meaningful way to honor someone we want to uh, remember about and if you want some entertaining ways of celebration why not use the concerts or the talent contests which are really uh, yeah really good for students to show their talents or also we can raise the fund for the charity work So far, I talked about some negative impacts of releasing balloons, like uh, the deflated balloons are trash when they touch the ground or the ocean surface. Also, balloons are dangerous, meat taken source of food for animals, like marine animals. And also, the balloon strings are very, very dangerous to animals like birds. I also propose some ways that we can slow down the situation or we can uh, celebrate something in a much safer way, such as we blow bubbles or we plant a tree. And finally, I want to say that uh, balloons are for important events or for joyful activities, right? So when we feel happy, people feel happy, let's give other lives the same happiness and we stop hurting them, stop killing them, that we can enjoy our happiness in its truest way. And thank you so much for attention and watching my clip. So personally, I think that we can start from little things like have a talk with that person. And then we will try to touch that person's heart, mind and the awareness by using social media because yeah, as we all know, social media nowadays has a really, really strong influence on people. So we can post uh, pictures, uh, poster, banners, posting the text, posting with impressive content to show people how serious the problem is. We can yeah, we can create pages, we can create event, campaign or movement to really do, to uh, call for support from people. And we can start to utilize balloons to stop balloon releases. And besides, we need to carry out some more interesting alternative activities. Like as I mentioned, blend a tree, we can blow bubbles or something that i like like we can tie the ribbon the colorful ribbons on the tree like in south korea they do when they uh commemorate the victim of that silver incident you know and sometimes we can use that to honor someone or to do something memorable is also a good idea or we can use the handprint we can use make um, colorful pictures of handprints of the students and also a good way to save the memory and have fun together and we can also yeah as i mentioned have the donation day we can have a concert or we can um, uh, release the flower petals into the river also a very mesmerizing scene right oh because as i mentioned in the earlier class about joy balloons are 
round, colorful, and soft, right? And yeah, and it's even bouncy. So children, especially children, love balloons because they can play with balloons, they can blow it, and they can imagine blue like the soft candies. And children, you know, children are definitely attracted to colorful and um, funny things like balloons, right? And also we adults, we also love to play with balloons because the feeling of blowing and releasing the air is really relaxing. It gives us something that relaxation releases, releases our uh, tension and stress. That's the reason why some trends nowadays like slime or the floral form or the soap soap cutting video is really satisfied and give us the sense of of sour satisfaction and the sense sensation satisfaction i think so that's why people love balloons but we had to remember that let's use balloons in a more friendly way and use it when we really need it okay This is behind the scene, and first of all, I will talk about how I generate my ideas. I my ideas are inspired from a video on Facebook about this this topic that why people should stop releasing the balloons. And when I watched that video, um, I get I was really inspired and motivated to do this. And yeah, in the past, I used to be really annoyed when people keep releasing the balloons in the school year opening ceremonies or some birthday event or something and I don't like it because I think about uh, when the balloon burst and then fall down into the river, it's really harm to the, um, to the fish, the birds. And then, yeah, and then in this talk, I have introduction, body and conclusion. So in body I have two main points first of all I talk about the negative impacts or the reasons why people should stop releasing balloons and then I talk about the solutions plus some negative ways of celebration like let's use balloons in a more friendly ways or blowing blowing bubble blend energy blend energy and yeah and the conclusion I conclude all my points and also give out the message about happiness to uh, people, to human beings, and to the animals. And so this is how I record my video. Uh, this balloon is from my niece's birthday, <laughs> so I still keep this. And I use a tripod to record the video and use my phone. This is a really fun experience but also a hard work because I just myself had to adapt everything and the light is not as bright as I expect and then my face is not photogenic <laughs> as I expect but anyway this is a good, good lesson for me to try to make a video and balance anything and then I want to mention about the sources I used in this clip so as I mentioned in my uh, talk I use eCenter.org and uh, en.wikipedia.org and I just realized that I'm I uh, pronounced wrongly or o or g as org instead of org so sorry of that and besides I also use some uh, sources from the research of Marine Conservation Society at MC mcs mcsuk.org and then uh, growamemory.co.uk then onegreenplanet.org and also use some dictionaries to uh, look for us some vocabularies like the dictionary.cambridge.org or the merriamwebster.com and so this clips give me many lessons and also learn many th new things, new words like uh, biodegradable or intestinal. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day if uh, you're watching this in the morning and good night if you see this in the evening. So thank you so much and bye.